All right, guys, so you're finally switching to Linux, or maybe you've been on Linux for a while, but you're deciding you wanna try something different. Today, we're gonna to talk about what Linux distribution is right for me. So first things first, we need to know about the different branches of Linux. There are three main branches of Linux distributions, RPM-based, apt-based, and Pacman-based. If you've had prior Linux experience, you'd realize that these are likely the names of one of your package managers, and that's because at the end of the day, what really makes a Linux distribution is the package manager your installed packages in your init system. However, the package manager makes the biggest difference because what package manager you should use is determined by what your goal on software stability is. First things first, let's talk about RPM-based distros. RPM-based distributions commonly include Fedora, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and OpenSUSE, to name a few. The common philosophy behind RPM-based distros is that you get updates as your various programs and utilities get a new stable release. While most RPM-based distributions follow this model, there are forks such as OpenSUSE Tumbleweed that follow a rolling release model. RPM-based distros try to be a blend of stability and bleeding edge by only providing updates to software between major releases, and as such, oftentimes the kernel can be a few versions behind, though never as much as, say, Ubuntu or other Debian-based distros. If you want a stable system experience while still getting relatively frequent updates on your software, then RPM-based distros might be the choice for you. Generally, I would recommend either Fedora or OpenSUSE, but feel free to experiment and do your own research. Now let's talk about apt-based distros. Apt-based distributions typically hail from the Debian family, including Debian, Ubuntu, and Mint. Apt-based distros tend to be very stable because similarly to RPM-based distros, software is updated based on stable releases. What is different, however, is that software is not updated as released by the devs for that particular software, but rather by the maintainers of a given distro's repositories. As stability is the goal in an app-based distro, software will typically be updated only when another major release of your distribution comes out. Typically, only updates for individual software will come when security flaws and bug fixes need to be made. This leads to the benefit of your operating system running flawlessly whenever you install new software no matter what. But the major downside of this is that when you inevitably update, you will likely have a lot of tech debt and as such will have to fix a lot of things at once. Though this isn't always the case. If you don't care about having the latest software or playing the latest games and just want a nice, clean, responsive operating system, app-based distros are a solid choice. Finally, let's talk about the last main kind of distro, which are the Pac-Man-based distros. And yes, the uncanny resemblance to the titular video game character is an intentional coincidence, as Pac-Man is named as a shortening of the words Package Manager. Pac-Man-based distros typically come from the Arch family, although there are exceptions such as Manjaro, which is one of the few distros I do not recommend. Some examples include Arch Linux, Endeavor OS, and Garuda. Arch-based distributions are a bit different from the other versions of Linux that we have described above, as Arch-based distros do not follow a typical release model. This is because Arch Linux follows a rolling release model. You have the choice to either install software as it is updated stable, or install the Git versions of your software and get an update whenever there is a new commit to the main branch. If you like to try new features as soon as they come out, have a large selection of software to choose from, especially from the AUR, which is wonderful, or play the latest games, then Arch Linux may be for you. Another great thing about the rolling release model is that you never acquire much tech debt, if at all, so long as you keep your system updated frequently. I do so about once or twice a week. So we have talked about the three main Linux branches, but believe it or not, there are a few more out there that break free of this model. You have distributions such as Gentoo, Void, Bedrock, Slackware, Solace. These are great distributions, but they are not intended for people who are new to Linux or aren't willing to do a lot of the work themselves. If you are just starting to learn Linux, I would recommend that you either begin with an RPM-based distro or app-based distribution. If you are looking to upgrade, move to a Pac-Man-based distro. If you still feel like you need to get more in-depth with Linux, only then would I recommend these runner-ups. Thanks for listening to my video, and if this helped you in any way, please like and subscribe. Turn on the bell notification for more content. Share if you know anyone who is thinking about making the switch to Linux, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.